Here we go. It's live from the asylum. Sorry, Michael Workowski. Ah. Elise Giovino. Were you recording? Yes. Carolyn Vesho. Carolyn Vesho. <laughs> Aaron Schor. <laughs> Cam Zellbrier. Maybe Jennifer Prescott later, who knows? And today's suggestion is... Sauerkraut. Sauerkraut. Good tidings. It's the afternoon and we're both alive. <laughs> God, I'm so freaking relieved. I have to say, I am really not looking forward to these vegan hot dogs, though. Mm. No, it's a lesser quality hot dog and a fake to most people. But you and I today, we're tricking some people. It's the only way we're going to be able to raise the money. Are the only, the only way. Because I have relish as well just so you know okay i think that will make it much better um but i have to tell you once we're done with this fundraiser for the animal shelter i'm going back to eating meat i don't know about <laughs> you but mm, i don't know I, sort of my mind is being changed by these dogs but we'll see we'll see i i will admit a t-bone steak does sound delicious yeah yeah. Well, you know what? The quicker we raise money, the quicker we can get this thing over with and eat meat again. So let's enjoy well, these two dogs. Let's do it. Come on. Uh, you take the dog duty. I'll take relish duty. Uh, it's the only condiment I brought. Do you think people are going to mind? No, no. Um, shoot. You know what? I actually meant to bring sauerkraut and I totally forgot. I mean, they're kind of the same thing, right? Yeah, pickle relish is like an American sauerkraut. Sure, I, I think yeah. people would like that. Yeah, that oh, sounds great. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, who wants sauerkraut on a, on a, a, veg, a vegan uh, dog? I don't know. I don't know. Hey, guys, um, what are you up to? Oh, hey, Sam. Hey, Sam. Mm. Sam, what are you? Uh, we're just trying to raise money right now. We're selling veggie dogs. Do you? Do you want one? Are you hungry? Oh, yeah, they're veggie dogs with relish. I mean, you, usually I don't eat veggie dogs, but um, I will definitely, I will definitely try one. Oh, it worked. That wasn't hard at all. Oh, Sam, I thought you'd be the hardest person to sell a veggie dog to. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Here you go. Uh, that will be $49, please. Yes, it is a fundraiser. So, you know, prices might be a little high to you, but understand that these are the dollars that could be saving dogs' lives. You see, we're I, selling fake dogs to help the real dogs. It's kind of funny because, huh. like, society is eating those dogs and you are eating these veggie dogs. So it's like a balance of the scales, you know? Well, God knows it's a dog eat dog world out there. What's up, Michael? Hey. Michael. Not much. I don't know. I'm just. Everything's feeling oh. off this morning. Do you know what I mean? Have you ever felt that way, Elise, Sam? I mean, yeah, it's it's always been like that. I mean, I'm eating a hot dog. Well, about to, but I have to pay for it for $49. Don't forget tip. Oh, <clears> yeah, <throat> that that too. Oh, and tax. I did not tax on time. Had to earlier at the bar with Michael and Carolyn. So I need you to go over there 
and figure yeah. out how much they're selling the hot dogs for. I mean, I think it's okay if we start selling cheaper hot dogs. Okay. It's just that's for charity for animals. And if people don't want to pay like $30, they probably don't want to donate to charity anymore. Anyway. No, that's fine. And listen, covering my covering my rent is like charity as far as as far as I'm concerned. I'm a charity case. Like, God help me. I'm working at the last blockbusters in North America. I need this. So yeah, I've got that. Uh and I'm paying you a pro like a pro yeah no no I got this. <laughs> I just want to know what what margins would be good for like you know they're gonna want a cheaper hot dog option. Yes, we absolutely. can just put a sign outside because they're just a few blocks away. Absolutely, but have we thought about cutting costs by not using genuine hot dogs? Like, I mean, Listen. hot dogs are mystery meat anyway. We could just fill it with anything. But if it's already a... What are, what are you talking about? What are you going to fill this stuff with? I have a guy who could, guy who could get us some premium raccoon. Does that mean we have to make them ourselves? It's pretty simple. You just get a casing and you smush it in. I mean, that's the easy part. I don't want it to be messy like that behind the bar. That's not a good working environment for everyone to have raccoon meat. Well, listen, I thought we were trying to figure out how we cover our rent this month. But if you're, if you're, you're here to figure out ethics and morals. The I'm margins on, on normal hot dogs, if we charge like $10, give or take, depending what they're selling the hot dogs for. Okay. Those are good margins. Cut back to the bar with everyone else. So that's $49 per hot dog, you said. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good. I'll make a mental note of that for no reason whatsoever. I think it's nice that you keep mental notes of just random things. That's cool. Absolutely. I mean, God, all of you are so... I mean, it's just, I want to keep up with all of you and what you do during your days. Hopscotch, mostly for me. I don't know. <clears throat> Pretty fun. Absolutely. Aaron, a renowned hopscotchery. Mm -hmm. Good for your brain, good for your feet, good for your moves on the dance floor. Absolutely. Hopscotch. I mean, that, this hot dog does sound very convincing. To And I am willing to, I mean, I'm, I'm excited to try it. Especially if it's going to charity. I mean, it's it's very pricey for a normal hot dog, but I I mean, I'm all up for it if it's really that good. Okay, so try it already. I am. All right, all right, all right, hold on. It's going to buy a bag of dry food for like three dogs. Wait, three, wait, three different bags or one bag that all three of them would eat? Hmm. I suppose it could be either, depending fair on the enough. size of the bag. Fair enough, fair enough. What if we went ahead and split up the bag uh, already and then gave three bags to the dog so they felt more special? I, it might kick a little more on the cost side for extra bags, but I think it would be worth it for the chair. Okay. So I think if we do that, we need to charge an extra $5 to each dog to cover the extra labor costs of us mixing all the bags. But I'm all for it. Hey, what if we just skip the middleman? We have the dogs make the bags for us. Hmm. I don't know. Dogs dogs are notoriously temperamental labor. Mm. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. What do you think, Sam? What do, what do you think? What do you think about the, the, the dog and the dogs? Hmm. Uh-oh. Hmm. Is that the face Sam makes when it's really good? I mean, good? now that you mentioned dogs, mm -hmm. No, I don't think it is. Not that I've ever seen that face. He's he's never been happy about it. Anything. Mm -mm. Does does taste kind of funky to me? But... Okay. Oh, let, me, let me have it. Let me have it. Yeah. 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 Take a bite from the same please, size. So please. You get the full please. flavor. How is it? It admittedly looks a little dry. From here. It's amazing. Wow. Yeah. 
yes, Sam is a liar. Sam is trying to sabotage mm -hmm. the charity. Melinda, I hello. <laughs> hello. Hi. Oh, hey. I'm good. I was gonna buy a hot dog at your stand, but I uh I went by the bar and they say you're selling raccoon meat. Carolyn says you're selling raccoon meat and they have cheaper hot dogs. What? what hell, you guys Carolyn? would sell raccoon dogs? I, I mean, can't I expected you did that. so much more from you. Is that what I just ate? I hmm. trusted you, Aaron. You gave me your relish this morning, and I thought we had something special. Cut to Elise going to Carolyn's apartment to confront her. Carolyn? Yeah? Carolyn, answer the door. Come on, it's me. It's important. Hi. Carolyn, what the hell? What the hell? Why did you start that rumor that our hot dogs are made out of raccoon meat? I heard a rumor. <laughs> oh my God. So instead of talking to us, you just helped spread it. Now three dogs are going to go hungry. Look, Sam was giving away all those free drinks to ghosts and we really need to make back our margins for this weekend. You know that. Sam. Oh my God, Sam. Oh, he's ruining everything this week. You know, he's, he thought our dogs were bad. He thought our dogs were bad. He didn't say it, but his face said it all. Where'd you get them? Um, Michael, I think. Cut to where she got them. <laughs> okay, now these 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 are the best dogs that you'll ever find that fell off of the back of a homeless person. <laughs> Okay, okay, and they're vegan, right? They're vegan. Yeah, yeah, vegan sure, homeless. whatever. Okay. okay, vegan homeless person dogs. Got it, got it, got it. We can market these. Thanks, okay, Michael. Okay, good. But I had nothing to do with it. My name never comes up. I don't know why he's so paranoid about it. It feels like we're doing something wrong the way that he's acting, but we're doing it for the right reason. So we shouldn't be paranoid, right? Right, right, yeah. we shouldn't be, we shouldn't be. I mean, we are, we are participating in a monumental charity. And like, even if you're a cat person, you have to agree that this is a cool thing, right? Yeah, yeah, and even if you're a lizard person or a snake yeah. person, you have to admit this is a pretty cool thing. This is amazing, this is amazing. I like that they're just loose. We didn't get them in bags or anything, it's just the dogs. Right, this it's is nice. just the it's so authentic. Yeah, I'm, I, it's like we need to protect these so we can protect them. These are these are going to be great. We're going to I'm just going to pocket them for right now. We're going to sell everything. We're going to save the dog shelter. Amazing. So tomorrow you got the relish. I got the sauerkraut. Yeah, of course. Yeah, this is a deal. Uh, we'll have buns. We'll have dogs. We'll have those toppings. It'll be great. We're going to make millions. Yes, it will be great. Uh. Cut to myself and Carolyn at her apartment. She should be here any second. There you are. Yes, uh, they're charging $49. So we just have to undercut them per dog. Wow, that's easy. Yeah, no, no. Uh, like I thought it was going to be trickier, but no, they are way over the market value. Did you get, did you get, a, did you get a poll on like what people like if they don't want to buy the dog what's their limit like 25 honestly i feel like let's be honest people are lazy they don't want to travel they're not going to go to a place down the street so it's as long as we're undercutting 49 here i feel like we'll be good isn't there doesn't skippy have a hot dog cart now Skippy, listen no one's buying anything from skippy Skippy doesn't buy from Skippy. He goes and eats at Nathan's hot dogs down the street. Skip, I'm not worried about Skippy. I'm pretty sure a lot of people buy from Skippy. Not food. I'm talking, people don't Skippy, buy food from though. Skippy. It feels like his brand. 
Cut to Skippy. <laughs> Cut to Skippy selling meat on the street. I'm gonna be Skippy. <laughs> okay, that was helpful. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, hi. Hey. I'm sorry. What was that? What dog? What dog? I mean, the bag. Uh, uh, how much does it cost? For you, two dollars. Two dollars for a hot dog. I mean, that's cheap. That's cheaper than the one that I just ate. I mean, you know what? I I'm still hungry, and I love hot dogs anyway. So I'm just gonna go ahead and buy one. Why not? There you go. Thank you. I $2, appreciate. It. Please. Oh, here, oh, here you go. Thank you. No, oh, that cheap, cheap. Okay. Sam, Sam, what the hell? What, what? what the hell? What? Well, it's just a hot dog. It was two dollars. I know, but you could have tried one of the hot dogs that you didn't like again, and just given that money to the dogs. What about the dogs, Sam? Skinny. I mean, I I mean, I care about the dogs too, but like, I'm also kind of, still kind of hungry. I haven't really eaten much. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, your your hot dogs that you just sold me. I mean, it was great. It was it was not bad, but like, but I it just needed a little, maybe maybe a little bit more flavor. But I haven't even I took a bite of this hot dog, and I'm not a hundred percent sure if this hot dog has more flavor than the hot dog you so sold me. So. Mm. This is my alleyway. Just gonna say, everybody chill. And uh, if you want a hot dog, Elise, this one's free. Skippy, I want a little more than a hot dog. I want to offer you a job. You seem to know the secrets of good hot dogs. How would you like to work for me? I think I can't. Uh, I can't give up my secrets. I have a lot of secrets. Okay, Sam. Um, after you have that hot dog, come back to the bar with me and talk to me about what goes in a good hot dog. All right, we'll I'm we'll do. We're in the bag. All right, definitely. All right, cut to that. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so Aaron, Sam, kind of betrayed us a little bit by getting a two dollar regular hot dog on the street, but. In exchange for that, he agreed to come back and tell us how to make our hot dogs a little bit better. I think this is totally fair. Thank you so much, and we forgive you. Us and our two dogs that we were able to save from the shelter, right? Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so I tried Skippy's $2 hot dogs. I mean, it's not too different from your hot dogs. Doesn't really taste that funky. But we can definitely compromise on making a better hot dog. And that way you guys can sell these hot dogs for, for charity. And I know everybody will love it. That sounds amazing. Mm -hmm. I like awesome. the plan. Cut to Michael on a phone call alone in his apartment. Listen, no, I... Listen, I'm playing both sides against each other. I'm supplying <laughs> hot dogs. I'm supplying hot dogs to Elise while I supply them to Carolyn. My scheme only works as long as the hot dog sides are at war. They can't <laughs> make peace. I'm going to have to sabotage their negotiations. Yeah, just keep the raccoon coming. I'll deal with the rest. Beep. Cut to... Um... Cut back to the the dog saving stand. Oh, Aaron, I just came back here because I thought maybe we would go back to my apartment and rub relish on each other. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my God. <laughs> I see this act of charity is winning me more than just good points with God, but also people who are going to be maybe meeting them soon. <laughs> it's fun. Uh, well, hey, I'm uh, going to outlast you, sweetie. 
We'll, we'll see with the healthy diet of these hot dogs, these veggie dogs. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, Elise, uh, I think I've been invited to go somewhere else. Is it okay, or do you want me to still watch this stand for now? Um, are you asking if you could leave me alone with two adorable dogs and selling wonderful products? Go for it. Have a great time, and you go, girl. Thanks. Oh, uh, come on, shook him, come I don't here. know what's gonna happen. Nothing's ever mm -hmm. really happened between us. I'm very excited. <laughs> I got the relish. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey, Elise, how's it going? How how the dog great, sales? Great. Oh, me and Fluffernutter. So oh, Fluffernutter, schmuckums. Oh. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Uh, 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 no, but I meant the dog business going. I mean, I mean, nothing loons this truce with Carolyn or something. Hey, you don't need me to watch the hot dog stand for a minute or anything, do you? You know, I didn't want to admit it in front of Aaron, but I kind of need a break. But is it cool if I take schnookums with me and you can stay here with Fluffernutter? Absolutely. I promise nothing will happen on my watch. Okay. Oh, thank you, Michael. Mwah, you're the best. Okay. Shuckles okay. and I will be back soon. Thank you. Let's see here. Ooh. Let's see how your customers like it with extra hot sauce on your dogs. Care of Carolyn. Head <laughs> back to the bar with Carolyn and don't know. Hi. Just hot dogs in here. Good, good hot dogs in here. Hey, how are the dogs going? It's okay. Wow, that's Honestly, great. I think Skippy's taken away our customers. Yeah, I know, Skippy. I mean, God, a less reputable product I can't imagine, but. This was the wrong week to try to sell hot dogs everywhere with Skippy around. Listen, who knew Skippy was going to get into hot dogs this week? Nobody. You don't know. Oh, he could be selling underwear next week and uh, 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 neoclassical French paintings the week after. You, you never know what's going on. He's got secrets. I know that, but I feel like if, we, if you dive too deep, you won't be able to escape. Are you okay today, Michael? You you seem a little... Yes, it's just, I mean, I heard things weren't going great over at, over at, uh, over at Elisa's stall, and I hope she doesn't come storming in here and blame you for them. She already yeah. talked to me. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Oh, hey. Hey, Carolyn. Mm. Hey guys, I went down, so when I just went out and took a walk, I went down to the family courthouse and I adopted Schnuckums. Uh -huh. He's my son now. That's so cute. Wow. You I know, sent your dog and you didn't even have to sell any hot dogs. We didn't sell oh, any wait. hot dogs? What about Fluffernutta? Are you just leaving Fluffernutta out in the cold? Um. Well, Michael, since you've been so helpful to me throughout this process, and I know you've wanted a dog for a long time, I thought you might want to keep Fluffernutta. I would rather catch the plague, but thank you very much for the offer. Elise, you're not going to take him into work, right? Oh, that I am. I'm going to take him everywhere with me. We have a no animal policy in the bar. Jesus. I cannot have the health inspector come here <laughs> with a puppy back here. We'll hide him from the health inspector. You I need to keep it hard. in your apartment. Guys, the health inspector's here. Oh, shit. Of course he is. Okay, Elise, right you're a customer. Me. You're a customer who brought your dog okay. in. Okay, bar. got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, okay. Hey, guys. Hey. Hi. Hey, you? Um, hi. Hi, I heard you guys have these amazing vegan hot dogs that support cute little puppies like this. May I try one? Actually, we're all out. We only have normal hot dogs that are not made of raccoon meat. Mm -hmm. and definitely not raccoon meat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What are you? Uh, what did you? Did you want something to drink? Did you want? Uh, 
We just need to pretty much just sell drinks here. It's not Make that them. What? Okay. Stop looking Stop. at me like that. I'm oh. never supporting your business again. Come on, schnookums. What? There was a, oh, there was a dog. I said definitely not raccoon me. There was not supposed to be a dog in this bar. Why was there a dog? That was a customer and. Um, yes. Okay. And he's just they very like hairy and he doesn't self-identify as a dog. We don't encourage that. We don't leave those little doggy bowls of water out for people. No, 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 no encouragement of pets. I see because I'm. It's coming back to the bar right now. Hey, hey. Oh my. Yeah. Oh my God. It's it's, fl it's fluffernutter. That woman. Oh, it's fluffernutter. Fluffernutter. Oh. God. Hey. Hey, little she, fella. That lady should have taken that dog with her, too. Can someone take that dog back to the stand where they're helping actually, the dog? You, you know what? Actually, I'll, I'll take Fluffer Nutter. Oh. Thank God. No! 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 I've got this. I've got this. Your establishment is not very kind to animals. Come here, Fluffer Nutter. Come here. Come here. Actually, you no. know, I can... At least this this health inspector wants to adopt a dog. I yeah. mean, that sounds like it works. They Unless, a, are you gonna give uh, or let's or? cut to uh, actual Sam and I leaving a dream sequence. Ooh, actual Sam. <laughs> Michael. Oh, Michael. Oh, 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 God. That's Michael, like the weirdest dream. And hey, you were there, and me? Aaron and Elise. I don't think Jennifer was there, but er, 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 but everyone else was. God, it was like it was weird. It, there were hot dogs, and Elise finally had the first healthy relationship in her life with a dog. <laughs> Ugh. So what did I miss? Well, nothing really. I was just gonna ask you. I was rooting through your fridge and i found this hot dog in there i was gonna see if you yes no god the hot dogs god having hot dogs for lunch and entering a food coma is what got me into this please take them all great oh, oh. i was gonna take one but that's perfect mm. oh god i gotta get better quality raccoon i need more food in my fridge i'm gonna take everything okay oh. yeah you go right on ahead mm-hmm I mean, I can't believe I'd believe that for a second, like Elise would ever have a healthy relationship. Hmm. No, it's no, it's never gonna happen. And scene. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Thank you all for tuning in to this absolutely normal, not at all weird episode of Live from the Asylum. Uh Oh, did we lose someone? Yeah. Okay, well, hopefully they hop back. Uh, 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 but uh, before we go, let's please thank so much Lena Lodge for playing Carolyn, uh, uh, Ashley Laughing Moon for playing Elise, uh, Lisa May for playing Sam, and Preston Awful for playing Aaron. Uh, 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 we do have a few minutes, so if any of you have anything going on that you'd like to promote to the viewing audience, now would be a great time. Uh, raise your hand if you've got something. Lena. I am uh, a part of a show in Ottawa on Monday, a very fine improv show. I'm uh, doing a, a, <laughs> a set with my old duo partner, Claire Bittescombe, and I'm very excited about it. So excited. That's it. Okay. Thank you so much, Lena. You are always wonderful. I'm sorry I can't be in Ottawa. Uh, uh, Elise slash Ashley. Yes, yes. Thank you. Um, so uh, a couple things. Um, so one, I started like a small business recently where I do improv related stuff. Just do, um, you know, I do um, I can do workshops like in the New York City area or I guess anywhere if it's virtual around like um, different organizations. I specialize in like the social service and nonprofit field. So, um, and I know a lot of those organizations, they uh, do like team building activities too, as a way of professional development. So if you're part of any organizations, you know, that would um, benefit 
from that kind of facilitation, I basically incorporate improv activities um, into, you know, kind of already existing, um, you know, organizational management and team building uh, workshops that I do. Um, so again, the name of that business is Laughing Moon Consulting. LaughingMoonConsulting.com is my website. Um, I'm also on, um, the business is also on Facebook and LinkedIn. Um, and on my personal Instagram, which is ash.laughingmoon, um, I am starting to invite improv friends um, onto IG with me. Um, I actually had a lease yesterday. <laughs> I, um, I know I caught like the last two minutes of that. Yeah, to just do like brief duos, just to demonstrate like how fun improv is. So if any of you like in this show or if any of you watching want to do an IG duo with me, um, you can just find me on Facebook if we're not already friends, Ash Laughing Moon, um, and uh, message me and we can um, set something up. Um, just a fun way to kind of get little, you know, 10 minute improv breaks kind of in between um, our lives. And also on my on my um, website, I have a store where I have like improv related merch, like tote bags and stuff with like improv related phrases. So if you go to my website, you'll see, check out the store. It might be a fun, um, you know, gift for either yourself or anyone else in the uh, improv okay. world. So yeah. Okay. That Thank is... you so much, Ashley. Definitely so no, check all you. that out. I'm sure it is wonderful. Uh, Preston. Yeah, improv merch. I'd want to buy a yes handbag uh, out of that one for yeah. sure. Uh, you can always check out my dates at PrestonOphil.com or Preston O. I sell my lighters there as well. Lots of merch. I also book all my sessions out of there for Lincoln Lodge Theater. I teach workshops there. And of course, my stand up on the spot class. Go check that out. I've got a couple dates there coming up as well as at the end of July, the 21st and the 28th at seven o'clock over at the Newport Theater in Wrigleyville, go Cubs. Uh, we are doing two of our Naughty Who's Line improv shows. It's gonna be a very awesome time trying to sell both of those out. And tickets are 15 bucks online, 20 at the door. So save some money there. I've got those workshops. You can always check me out at Babs LLC and Theater 42. We do murder mysteries. We do roasts, we do parties. We got a DJ that just came on. It's the best time ever. We love doing comedy for dollars. Thank you so much for having me tonight. You all were hilarious. Thank you. Thank you so much, Uch. I'm a <laughs> Preston, and you will get a lot of success with those ladders because we are huge with the crowd of arsonists. Yes, mm -hmm. they are basically our target demographics. So you will do great with that. Uh, Sam slash Reza, do you have anything? I mean, like, as far as like we have um, Ashbury Improv um, once a month on um, this first Saturday. Um, I know there's one on August 5th, so if you guys want to check it out, feel free to do so. But um, that's the like the I believe that's the week after you guys visit. But it's it's yeah, okay. But there's other people. Talk to yes, me. there's other people like Preston. We we're both from Illinois when we did met in person many times. Okay, so. I forgot, and, and, and many more. <laughs> Oh, I forgot I forgot the plug that is relevant to people online. Mining for gold. I host it every Wednesday now again. Hopefully I can keep doing that. But this week, definitely, uh, this coming week, there will be a Spider-Man Spider-Verse theme jam on the Mining for Gold page. Come do that because Spider-Verse is cool and improv is cool. And if you don't know anything about Spider-Man, that doesn't matter. Thank you. And, <laughs> and as we all know, Lena has long been the definitive definer of what is cool. So if she says it's cool, nobody on earth can deny her that. Uh, last call. Uh, anything else? <laughs> okay. Well, then thank you all so much for uh, 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 I'm watching. We will have the normal, aka the less talented people back next week. So please tune in then. And until then, uh, keep cool. It's the summer or something. I'm telling on you, Michael. It's the summer or something. Rock on.